Oil Painting of Lucas video tutorial 1 artist Carmen Scheid and I want to thank all my subscribers and everyone for watching the video. This is my nephew Lucas and I always have a couple of references next to me so that way I'm always looking at the picture. We are going to use burnt sienna on a container so that way I can go ahead and do a tonal or tone the canvas. It's important to always tone your canvas at a value 5. I will show you in an upcoming video what I mean by toning to a value 5, which is a mid value. Um, we like to tone the canvas and our palette at that mid tone. So when we apply the paint, it's cohesive with the palette and cohesive with the canvas. That way, if our canvas was white and our palette is toned, the colors are always going to seem lighter or darker on either one. If you apply paint on a white canvas, it's always going to be or appear darker than what it really is. So we have the palette and the canvas at a value 5, which is the same value you will see on here or that you see on here. They will be well balanced with one each other and they will be uh, complementary to one another and we don't have to worry about things appearing darker than they are. Just go ahead and tone your canvas all of it completely. I'm using burnt sienna because it's close to the skin tone and plus it's going to give me a warm color and my nephew has warm colors all around him and we always try to use a color that can show through through the paint so that it is well balanced. The painting itself is well balanced so when that paint shows through it's not off. You're welcome to leave the paint that way showing brush strokes or you can smooth it out whatever you like some people love brush strokes to show through or as I mentioned smooth it out I'm going to semi smooth mine out because I am painting a baby and babies are smooth and soft and so therefore I will be smoothing most of my canvas you don't have to have it perfectly match it's okay I love it when you can kind of see different color or different texture. Now we're going to go to our paints. We're going to be using titanium and white, raw sienna, cadmium yellow pale, yellow ochre, chrome yellow, cadmium red, cadmium red light, permanent rose, Cadmium Red Deep, Alizarin Crimson, Dioxazine Purple, French Ultramarine Blue, Phthalo Blue, Cobalt Blue, Sap Green, Phthalo Green, Raw Umber, and Burnt Sienna. And it's burnt sienna with turpentine where I'm going to do my sketch. I grab a very thin brush and I'm going to start my sketch. It's very important that when you start sketching your painting that you do a good job sketching it. Try to match it as close as possible as the painting. As you can see, I'm measuring my lines. If the line is diagonal, I try to match the diagonal line with my brush. This is the most crucial part of your painting to try to match it and that you sketch your painting as close as possible as it is in the picture because if you're off your painting is going to be off please take your time sketching the picture and 
I made sure that before I started my sketch that the underpainting was completely dry. It took two days and it's important to make sure that the underpainting is completely dry so that way in case you make a mistake you can go ahead and wipe the paint off and you don't remove the undertone or the wash. You can see I'm measuring my lines. Take your time don't rush this is one of the most important and crucial steps in your painting if you get something off your painting is going to be off and but what I mean by the painting is going to be off it's not going to match something's gonna seem wrong And I do apologize that the camera keeps going off focus. I'm assuming it's trying to focus into whatever I'm doing. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue with the painting and drawing. I'm going to go ahead and speed it this time. It's the same process, just take your time sketching out your painting, okay?